हेलो फ्रेंड्स सतीश तिवारी हियर फ्रॉम थिकल हैकिंग ट्यूशन सेंटर जयपुर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू कंप्लीट फायरवॉल सेटअप ओके सो आई विल शो यू हाउ टू इंस्टॉल फायरवॉल देन आई विल शो यू हाउ टू कॉन्फ़िगर फायरवॉल फॉर ए लाइक डिफरेंट पर्पस फॉर आई पी बेस्ड सिक्योरिटी नेटवर्क बेस्ड सिक्योरिटी पोर्ट बेस्ड सिक्योरिटी कनेक्शन बेस्ड सिक्योरिटी एवरीथिंग सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो दिस इज माई काली लिनेक्स you can do the same in window uh, same in uh, ubuntu linux also okay so for kali linux ubuntu linux everything will be same first of all you need to update the repository so just type sudo apt update update the repository this was the first step we have successfully updated the repository once you updated the repository it's time to install the firewall how to install the firewall sudo apt install ufw the firewall name just install the firewall okay so the second step done we have successfully installed the firewall once you install the firewall clear the screen okay after clearing the screen you have to check that support by the firewall like this firewall support which kind of application or the list of applications supported by the firewall so now i'm going to show you the list of application or services supported by this firewall you can just type sudo ufw app list list now once you run this command you will see the list of application which is supported by this firewall so this firewall can allow or deny these all services okay so this firewall has the capacity to block all the services or to allow all the services let's clear the screen once it's done let's clear this screen so we have also already seen which is the application supported by the firewall now it's time to check firewall status so to check the firewall status use the below command sudo ufw status okay so you can see your uh, check your firewall status right now it's showing inactive means firewall is not enabled there is another method to check the firewall status in detail so if you want to check your firewall status in detail just type sudo ufw status variables press enter still you can see it's inactive okay because it's showing inactive because the firewall is actually inactive okay actually disabled right now so by default the firewall is disabled now the question is how to enable firewall i am going to show you how to enable firewall so just type ufw enable okay so sudo ufw enable and this command will activate or enable the firewall now you can check the status using sudo ufw status command so you can see firewall status active now if you see the verbose mode you can see the firewall is active by default all incoming ports are services are denied it means no one can log into your system either they can't do telnet or ssh or any services they can't access any services in your system but by default outgoing services are allowed means you can do every anything okay you can do anything on others computer like packets can go out from your system but incoming packets are not allowed means from outside no one can come to your system okay and also your system is not available for routing so no packet will be routed through your system done let's clear this screen so we have seen the default status and the firewall activities now i am going to show you how you can allow or deny any services by the port number okay so if you want to allow any service you can just use sudo ufw allow and the port number of the service suppose you want to allow web server so web server port number is 80 so you just have to type 80 slash tcp this command will allow a http server or you can see web server you can check the status using this command and you can see 80 port has been added in the firewall rules and it has been allowed anywhere like anyone from anywhere can access your web server 
okay similarly if you want to deny some services like you want to deny ssh so sudo ufw deny you can type the port number for ssh that is 22 tcp done you can check it by running sudo ufw status verbose and you can see 22 port has been in the deny list means no one can do ssh on this machine suppose you don't remember the port number you don't remember the port number in this case you can use name so sudo ufw suppose you want to allow samba services and you don't know the port number for samba so you just type samba okay and it will add it so automatically you can see the port number for samba has been added port 137 138 139 and 445 used for samba two are udp port and these two are tcp ports okay remember every service is allowed for ip version 4 as well as ip version 6 so you can see this like for at port you can see this is the ip version 4 and this is for ip version 6 in front of when you see uh, there is v6 means this is for ip version 6 all this v6 are for ip version 6 let's clear this screen we have successfully learned how to allow or deny a specific port and how to check the status whether it is working correctly or not if you want to see the firewall status by line number i am going to show you how you can check the your firewall status by line number simply type ufw status numbered okay let me okay you have to type sudo i forget to type sudo okay and now you can see all the rules by line number line one line two line three line four okay so you can check the firewall you can see the list of firewall rules by the line numbers it will help you when you want to delete some services okay so this is the easy way to see now how to allow or deny a certain range of ports range of port means like from port number one to hundred or hundred to thousand you can allow or deny very simple just type sudo ufw allow suppose you want to allow all the port from 21 to 20 or 100 okay 21 to 100 you can use this option slash tcp so this command will allow all the tcp port from 21 to 100 okay you can check it so now you can see line number four all the ports from 21 to 100 has been allowed similarly if you want to deny all the ports from 101 to 1000 you can simply type sudo ufw deny and then you can give the port number range like suppose 101 to 1000 slash tcp so all the port from 101 to 1000 will be denied you can check line number five you can see the rules has been applied so in this way you can allow or deny a certain range of port very simple okay similarly uh you can provide ip based security like you can allow certain ip address or you can uh, give access to ip address or you can block any ip address so if you want to create a allow list or you can say white list or black list you can do that so that is known as ip based uh, like a security you can whitelist any ip address or you can blacklist any ip address suppose you want to allow any ip you just type sudo ufw allow from allow from and you can give the ip address suppose 192 168 1.1 so this ip address will be allowed similarly if you want to deny some ip address then you can just type here sudo ufw and in place of allow you just type deny from suppose ip 100 so ip 100 will be denied this is in this way you can apply ip based security so you can see line number six and line number seven ip 1.1 allowed and ip 1.100 has been denied so now 100 ip has been blacklisted he can't do anything on your system but ip 1. is one is allowed he is whitelisted so he can assess all the services on your system i hope you understand this so let me go ahead
and summarize it like in more complex way the more easy way so i am going to show you how you can apply network based security like if you want to allow a specific network like all the ip address from that network you can do that in very simple step sudo ufw allow allow from and from here you can give any network address like 192.168.1.0 1.0 network address slash 24 which is for the sub uh, subnet mask okay slash 24 and just give it now all the ip from this network will be allowed similarly if you want to deny or if you want to block all the ips or block a certain network you just type here deny from a particular network like suppose two network so 2.0 network will be added to the deny list so you can check it using this command numbered and check the line number eight and nine line number eight is the allow list okay 192 1.0 1 that network has been allowed and network 192 1.0 has been denied so you can create a whitelist network or a blacklist network the all the ips belongs to the blacklist network will not be allowed to access any service on your system okay now if you want to delete certain rules it's very easy to delete suppose i want to delete this line number six you can see in, in which i am going to allow which i have allowed ip address 192 1.1 suppose i want to delete this rule you can simply delete this rule by just typing sudo ufw delete and the line number so what is the line number for this ip 1.1 line number six so just type here six yes y for yes and done now you can check it again you can see the ip address 1.1 rules has been deleted okay so in this way you can delete any rules from your firewall if you have done something if you want to remove if you have made some mistake and you want to uh, correct it you can delete them remember you can also allow certain ip to uh, access certain services like i want a specific ip address to uh, access a specific service okay like a, i have an employee who want to do ssh on my system so i just want to allow that ip address that employee ip address to do ssh on my system so i will just type sudo allow from sudo ufw the firewall allow from okay so first of all you have to give the ip address of that client support 0.100 this is the ip address of the client i want this client to uh, access ssh server on my system so i will give the ip address of this client then i will type to any port ssh port number is 22 so i will just give port number 22 then proto means protocol tcp in this way i will allow this ip address to access this port number this port number 22 port number this port number is for ssh it means this ip will be only allowed to access ssh service okay not any other service than ssh he will not be allowed to access telnet or a web server or anything just ssh has been allowed for this ip address if you want to see this rule you can run this command and you can see line number <coughs> nine in line number nine you can see for 100 ip uh, we have allowed only the port number 22 has been allowed okay so you can clear this screen if you want to clear and in similar way you can also blacklist any ip address if you want to enable log files like logging you simply type sudo ufw logging on okay so this will enable log files firewall log files in your system okay remember uh, if like uh, if you want to deny any service you can use the above rule for any ip address but not only this we can also provide network interface based security it means i want a particular service to run on a particular interface for example check your interface your ip address sudo if config 
so here you can see it is zero and loop back address for example if you have more than one interface then it will be ETH 0 ETH 1 ETH 2 and on every interface there will be different IP address okay so I want all the services run on this interface ETH 0 so how I can do that ETH 0 interface I will just type sudo UFW allow in on ETH 0 to any port 22 or 23 suppose 23 so 23 is port is for telnet it means if anyone wants to do telnet he can do telnet only on port number eth0 okay port number eth0 so now you can check your rules line number 10 you can see 23 service means telnet service is running only on eth0 port okay so anyone people from any spot any part of the world or any network want to assess my system or want to assess telnet on my system they have to connect on eth0 interface let me clear this screen okay so let me clear this screen and show you more like if you want to deny any ip address on any particular interface you can do that like you can block connection to a network interface like i don't want this ip address or i am suspicious to any particular ip address and i want don't want that guy i hate i hate that guy actually and i don't want him to access this port so how i can block him so you just type sudo ufw deny sudo ufw deny in on it is zero you can give and from so that guy ip address 192.168.1.2 so i have blacklisted that guy i have blacklisted this guy to connect on my this interface so wh whatever service is running on this interface this guy will not be able to access that services okay any service is running on that particular interface will be denied for this guy <laughs> and similarly you can also block a particular network okay any particular network to access these services on your system using this command if you want to reset your firewall very simple sudo ufw reset and this command will yes and this command will reset all the firewall rules very easy to reset and what will happen once the firewall rules reset i will show you the status you can see everything has been flushed out and now your the firewall is inactive and even you activate your firewall let's suppose sudo ufw enable and you see the rules it's active but no rules here okay no rules because i have reset reset means set to the default value i hope you guys understand the firewall if you like my videos don't forget to share with your friends and don't forget to like and comment thank you thank you for watching